a party political broadcast by the Liberal Democrats. Over the last year, Paddy Ashdown has been doing something rather unusual for a political leader. He's been getting around the country and actually listening to people. At the same time, the Liberal Democrats have been conducting the biggest ever survey of health and education with thousands of doctors and teachers. Recently, Paddy was in Birmingham to listen to the views of people involved in schools and the NHS and to discuss the Liberal Democrats' national survey findings with them. In the last year, one third of all schools have had to cut their budgets. There are now something like 5,000 teachers about to leave the profession. The number of classes, with numbers more than 30 in them, have gone up 10% in the last year. And I'd just like to hear, perhaps from a teacher here, what it looks like from inside the profession. The job of a primary school teacher certainly tends to be a mixture of prison warder, social worker, <laughs> child psychologist. The main way out is to get a stable uh, teaching profession back again who can be allowed to get on with teaching and not be diverted. One does try to keep up standards, but the fact class sizes are increasing must mean that teachers got less time for each individual child. When you take a class of how many in your class? About 37. 37. 37 in a class. Which was an improvement on the 38 two 38 years ago. last year. Primary. Primary. Yep. Can you tell in your class the kids who have had preschool education before they come to primary from those who can't? Yes, I would say without any shadow of doubt. Describe it. They're just far more aware. One of our commitments is to make sure that every child in this country, every child in this country, has access to two years high quality preschool education. And if we have to ask you to put a penny on income tax to pay for that, we're prepared to do that. Some of that money will go into school books and equipment because we think that they're diminishing to a very low level. Some of it will go into reducing class sizes for the reasons that, um, that Roger was talking about earlier on. And some of it will go into post-16 in order to be able to begin to raise the standards of post-16 where we're suffering very badly. The Liberal Democrats' health survey revealed that a majority of doctors feel the government should do more to protect the National Health Service. Nine out of ten GPs believe that the government's health reforms have been pushed through too fast and the service is becoming disorientated and disorganized in consequence. Seven out of ten believe that the government's medical targets that are set for GPs are unachievable. And believe it or not, one in two of GPs in the country are now thinking of leaving the profession. There's a good deal of... Uh, uh job satisfaction in the, in the medical profession, which can be translated into um, service to people, not into cash in your own pocket. That, that attitude, I think, has been denigrated by the, the government. The two subjects, the health service and, and education. The society has allowed these to be eroded over the last 17, 18 years, without a whisper. So would you like to see that reversed at the next election? Uh, yes, I certainly would. You'd like to see the next election? This and if you speak to services. most ordinary people, they say they would. Most people I speak to say they'd be quite willing extra penny on tax for extra police, schools, I would certainly, if you can see what you're getting for your money. There's the point, if you can see what you're getting for the money. We are absolutely determined that we take a more honest route to taxation. If we make you a promise, you have to say where the money's coming from. And I just hate this timidity of both the other parties in which they pretend that they can have better public services without us paying for it. I don't want to put your taxes up by one penny or by one half penny, but in order to restore some of the value that we place in public services in this country and in the public service ethic in this country if we are to do that effectively there's only one honest way to do it and that is to be clear and honest about taxation liberal democrats are campaigning for better education and health care and are committed to honesty about taxation we are already governing more of britain at the local level than the tories and we are gaining more mps all the time to support the Liberal Democrats, please call us on 0171 227 1234 or write to us at 4 Cowley Street, London SW1P 3NB. That was a party political broadcast by the Liberal Democrats.